Hey guys, today's video isn't about lawn care, but it's about this whole virus pandemic thing that we're finding ourselves in. Um, I was talking on Discord and Kenny, Chris Voy, and Brian, they were both talking about how they wish they had a platform to, to talk more about this, encourage people. And I don't know, I've, I've always felt like, you know, I'm, I'm not good at this type of stuff and it, it feels like uh, using a situation for good press or whatever. Um, but they were trying to convince me that that wasn't the case, it would just be a nice thing to do. Um, and then I think it was the next day I was watching, I stumbled uh, across this church that I know of that was uh, streaming a Bible study in the morning and it was a little devotional and the pastor was talking about using social media and so it kind of, you know, it was a second thing that I'm like, okay, maybe I'll say something. Um, and then I've been just thinking about what, what could I possibly say that would encourage anybody because... You know, I'm just a guy like all the rest of you sitting at home. Um, but some interesting things happened on our town Facebook page um, that gave me some ideas. Um, there's one guy. So as you know, New York's hit pretty bad. We're close to New York. So a lot of people were freaking out about people from New York moving to their Rhode Island homes. And it was getting pretty heated and nasty. And one guy even the next day publicly apologized. And which took a lot because um, I mean this is pretty much everybody in town's on that page and um, you know it just made me realize that there's there's a lot of people that are hurting out there that even if they're safe they don't feel safe um, like the hoarders you know a lot of people are complaining about hoarders but they're just doing it out of fear and anxiety and they want to feel in control when they have no control so hoarding is one way to do that um, because you feel like alright I got my stuff I'm good um, so you know, one thing we all can do that doesn't cost any money, that doesn't really require anything, it just takes a conscious effort, is to try to encourage each other. And if somebody's getting heated online, um, just assume that it's it's the anxiety and stress of the situation that's coming out. Don't assume they're a nasty person um, and, and see if you can encourage them in some way. You know, respond kindly, make them have some kind of hope. Something we all can do. Um, Another thing we can do is help out local uh, food pantries. They're really hurting. I know a lot of people out there are hurting as well. So I'm, you know, if if that's you, don't feel guilty. Go into these places and asking for help. I've used some. My family has gone to the uh, food pantry. Um, it was probably like three years ago when I was in, in between jobs and you know finances were. It was getting real, real scary, and so. You know, it's a little bit humbling to be like, all right, I need to go ask for help, but it's a perfectly normal thing. Um, so if you need help, don't don't feel embarrassed. Just go for it. The, the people there were super friendly. Um, and if you don't need the help, you know, next time you're at the store, don't don't <laughs> buy everything on the shelf, but you know, get a couple extra things. There's each food pantry lists on their on Facebook and their websites now what they're in need of. So it's something simple we can do. It doesn't cost too much. Uh, something our family also likes to do. So uh, we have blueberry bushes. We've got 14 of them. And it's an incredibly easy way to grow a ton of blueberries. And we like to bring them over to the food pantry because, I mean, they get a lot of box goods and stuff like that. But fresh blueberries, I mean... Those things are expensive. People who get to, to take some home, it's an awesome thing. So, um, you know, if you can grow stuff, that's really cheap. Some of us, I mean, we're doing lawns. A lot of us have great gardens as well. It's an easy way um, to help others. And uh, so just think about stuff like that. Think about how you can help others um, because you're, you're helping them, but it does help you, you know, feel better that you're, you're doing something. Um, on top of that, you know, I'm thankfully I work for a pharmaceutical company, so they're still in business and I can work from home, so I don't need to do any traveling. Um, so when they're talking about these government stimulus checks coming out, uh, my hope is those of us in my position will use some of it to, you know, buy some extra groceries for the food pantry or help someone out or something like that, you know. Get, get takeout at a restaurant, help the restaurant workers stay in business, so, something like that. Um, I know it's, you know, my instinct was, all right, well, we're gonna get this check. 
we should just keep it in the bank account because we don't know what's going to happen next. Um, but there's there's some really hurting people out there. So, you know, I kind of feel like, all right, I should do something. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell you to spend the whole check on food and donate it, which, I mean, if you want to, go for it. But, you know, it would be an easy way if you normally can't afford to help others to be able to in a situation. Um, but again, if you're if you're out of a job, don't feel like you know you have to. Don't feel guilty if you can't. Um, that's not what this this is about. Because you know we're all in different walks of life. Um, but something cool. So I got the Mr. B shirt. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. He's uh, he's <laughs> does a lot of really. Uh, funny immature stuff but he does a lot of really cool stuff so uh I, oh, I thought i had it open but um he's doing a challenge with smithfield farms so he just did a video where they donated i think it was like a million dollars worth of food or a million servings of food or something insane i'll link to the video um but what they're doing is uh, for every dollar donated to this network of uh, food pantries um, they're gonna donate a serving of meat so they make meat products you know bacon sausage ham all that stuff um, so they're doing it as a way to um, continue giving and to encourage other people to give so it's it's a simple way you could give um, you know a couple bucks even um, another thing um, you can do is there are a lot of local charities now that are, are hurting so if you're able to um, help them out um, you know, uh, let's see. If you're if you're struggling in this time, um, my advice to you would be to go on Facebook. I know it's it can add stress if you're in the wrong groups, uh, but there's a lot of groups out there. You know, even lawn care related. Sometimes just chatting about lawn stuff makes you feel better. Just to have some normalcy. Um, online, there's a lot of churches now that are streaming. I know my church. I, I've been tasked with helping them stream online today, so I'm going to be running over there soon to uh, make sure the setup is right. Um, but I'll link to one. I'll link to the one that I, I watched that I happened to stumble across, and you know, it's it's really interesting because a lot of times, you know, we get busy and then you know we don't go to church or we don't reach out to others and. We kind of, in America, at least in the Northeast, it's very solo, I do my thing, you do yours. Um, but I try to talk to more neighbors. You know, I talked to my neighbor yesterday, it was across the street. You know, it, it was nice to talk to somebody because it's like we've been penned up in here. Um, but the more interactions you can do with people like that, the more it'll help you, but it also helps the other people because we're all going through this. There's all different stresses. Um, you can do Discord, there's like the Lawn Forum Discord, uh, all sorts of Discord groups, um, Facebook live streaming, uh, go on your town page because there's a lot of stuff around here, some photographers, what they're doing is they're doing family portraits, you donate money to a charity and then they'll come take your family portraits so everybody sits on the front step, the photographer is at a distance, takes a picture for you and they're donating their time to get you to donate money to a charity and then you get a nice family portrait so there's a lot of stuff like that going on which is still safe considering you know the pandemic you don't want to be spreading it around um, but it's it's a great way to see the community around you the good stuff because we tend to focus on the bad stuff and that's that's how we spiral worse and worse um, so just try your best to ignore the negatives because um, I mean this this virus is real it's killing unfortunately a lot of people and it's it's hurting a lot of people and uh, so try not to downplay it but also don't let it panic you you got to be smart you got to realize hey this is a real legit concern so you just be smart just like when you're doing lawn care you know there's chemicals we use um, some of them supposedly can cause cancer I, I you know I'm not smart enough to know but the point is you wear your PPE, you wear the gloves, which we can't really get right now, so I won't be spraying any of those products. Boots, clothes, all that stuff. You do all that stuff to prevent, you know, the, the bad stuff from happening. So the same thing with this virus, you know, just be smart about it. Don't panic, don't freak out, don't get worried. 
just um, we're we're all in this together even and it's it's worldwide so you know it's kind of an interesting time um, but we'll get through this I'm gonna attempt to keep doing videos um, I'll probably have to modify how I do stuff like I'm trying not to use liquids just because liquids are easier to at least to me spill and get your clothes soaked whereas solids you can brush them off and it's not getting to your skin um, so stuff like that I'm trying to think about also when you're doing the liquids it can spray the mist so you want to wear goggles and some stuff you might want to wear the mask and gloves and with the, the powders you generally don't have to do that so I'm trying to make changes for how I do the videos I'm also there's materials I wanted to buy I'm checking Amazon and seeing what places ship um, but it's just we just got to get through this and eventually we will and so try to make the best of it I'm trying to joke as much as I can about it because that's how I personally get through stressful times I make jokes and I try my hardest not to offend people there's certain people I know in my circle that jokes are not how they handle the situation so I try not to do the jokes around them to you know not stress them out make them think I, I don't care but it also you know if somebody's joking and you don't think it's funny but they're making a joke just realize that's how some of us deal with anxiety and stress and unknown stuff so there you go um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna try to do weekly lawn stuff um we'll see it downpoured like yesterday and today so i didn't record anything so we'll see if i got something for next weekend if you like my videos you'll love my website grassdaddy.net the lawn care planner tool will download the local weather reports every morning and build a lawn care plan catered to your area the lawn care journal allows you to keep track of what you put down when you put it down so there's no more guessing or over or under applying any products we also have a lawn of the week contest every week a winner gets a grass daddy t-shirt and last but not least there are application calculators and articles to help you identify and tackle problems in the lawn so check it out it's completely free it's grassdaddy.net